Tonight, tributes continue to pour in for former VCU basketball standout Willie Taylor. The 42-year-old died suddenly this weekend, leaving Rams fans in shock. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress is live from VCU. Autumn, you've been speaking to his former teammates. What are they saying? Well, Deanna, current head coach Mike Rhodes said Willie Taylor was one of the best dunkers to ever come through this VCU program. And tonight, his former teammates tell me his legacy will live on. A VCU great. Willie Taylor, one of the most exciting players to call the Siegel Center home. Maybe the best dunker in, in VCU that I know of. Played with an edge. In his three years as a Ram from 2000 to 2003, pouring in more than 1,300 points, two all CAA conference honors, and his arrival, sparking a 22 season winning streak that is still active today. Just a good guy. He was really good. He was our team leader at that time as a junior, um, and, and he was our guy. Former teammate Mark Adams saying Taylor was electric on the court. I mean, he could jump out the gym. And he had hands like that, that could, that could palm a basketball like it was a tennis ball, you know. So some of the plays that he would make on a basketball court were unreal. Adams joining in on the shock after hearing that Taylor died on Saturday in his hometown in Tennessee. His wife, Victoria, telling me they were both home on Saturday when he went to the bathroom. And a few minutes later, she found him unconscious on the floor. He was 42. Pray for him and his family and all his friends and all his teammates because especially this time of the year, just losing somebody that um, we shouldn't lose is just tough. Tonight, the tributes continue to pour in from Rams fans. Adam says this news is tough to process, but he's confident that Taylor's legacy lives on. And a really good player, you know what I mean, a really good teammate, um, and just having a really good career. His wife tells me they had six children together. The VCU men's basketball team will return here to the Siegel Center on Saturday, and I'm told there will likely be a moment of silence to honor his life. Reporting live tonight in Richmond, Autumn Childress, 8 News.